who is ready to take on the arena? I don't think you're ready. Because we have an extremely difficult choice to make in the arena. Swords are nice. Yes, they are. And this sword is called the Harbinger of Death. No, the death is optional. But Harbinger is pretty good. After that, after the arena, the story gets pretty good. We're about to be introduced to our final boss. The big bad of the story. Here we go. have to say nothing 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 how may I help you today okay we're gonna be in for some kind of gauntlet so how about we take a quick break I'm going at it for about two hours oh there's that foreboding thunder and lightning Thunder. Thunder. I can't believe that. I haven't got any tickets left. Th th thunder. You yeah, come in to spectate or participate. Participate, eh? Well, you'll need a nomination from the guild, just like everyone else. You've already got one. My apologies. You can go in any time you like. Let's enter the arena. Look at my lovely getup. This way, please. I just realized... Oh, it didn't have any boasts. Okay, perfect. I didn't... I was hoping I didn't miss out on any boasts. Let's take down the arena, yeah. We're gonna destroy all eight Welcome stages of the arena. Heroes. If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history, they want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound that. You can quote me if you like. What am I wearing? I'm wearing a knight's helmet, a dress top, and I think assassin trousers. I'm a monster. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, Chameleon, you've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This'll be easy. Okay, when it's your turn, I'll call your name and you will enter the arena through the door our friend Chameleon just used. Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins your prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though, and your price for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Whether you rest or not, the arena bonus prize given by Jack of Blades himself will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there, use your skills well, make sure the crowd enjoys it, and if you have to die, do so bravely. The rest of you, wait your turn. I was trying not to say anything, but did they really give him a Schwarzenegger impression? Get out there and be a big loser. 
I'm pleased to serve you. If you do not stay out there, you shall be a big loser. <laughs> That's that's just fantastic. Oh, okay. You've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. It is your time. It's okay, sir. Make your time. Big loser. <laughs> that's like the stupidest thing. Yeah, seriously, this is McBain. I am very very touched. Mendoza! You know, while we wait, because apparently the chameleon is going to be absolutely slaughtered out there, I'm going to wait for my yeah, will to will come back. Watch that. Yes, thank you, Guildmaster. The plan is, all eight rounds, no stopping. Uh, Ross, bad news. I think Chameleon's, uh, you know, dead. What? Already? The idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. We need a new volunteer. New man, you look ready. <laughs> in you go. Talk to Al up by the door. He'll let you into the arena. Give me some oh, thank you, sir. I hope I don't let you down. <laughs> That's the joke. Talk to the guy. You suck, big brain. Time is money. All right, we're actually looking uh, looking pretty good on will. I've got plenty of will potions, and actually, take a look at the items here. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of will potions. Time is money. Uh, nine resurrection files, so we'll be perfectly fine. Only one health potion. So I'm probably going to be relying on the heal. That's okay. Alright. Let's go. Arena time. Right. I can let you in now. You sure you're ready? Is the little girl ready for the arena? Yes. Ah, uh, round one. They always tell me this one gives them the biggest, uh... Buzz. Buzz. <laughs> That's a good one, Al. Buzz. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> uh, methinks we're gonna have to fight some bees. I might want to get the electricity out for this one. Done! Jesus! I give you Druid! Famous for such quests as Orchard Farm and defeating X Hero Twin Blade! Like our other brave challengers, this something coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize! Presented by Jack of Blades himself! You're asking what that uh, what that jump cut was? That was the game loading. As you can tell, this game was very well made, and it even did better in the port job. That's right, we're playing a piece of garbage. Uh, yeah. So uh, if you're new here, the port of Fable Anniversary, uh, Fable, the Lost Chapters, into uh, Fable Anniversary. It showed up on Unreal Engine, which was not the original engine that Fable was made on. It had its own uh, engine that Lionhead made, if memory serves. And when you take something that had an original engine and put it into something that wasn't its original engine, it tends to, to break. So that's why this runs like absolute dog shit. Go! All right. It, this this round is completely free. And then you. Fight. I don't want to fight the Hob Cave again. That one sucked. Hey, we did it. 
Are you not entertained? Fighting like that earns 100 gold. <gasps> the next round will be worth 500 gold. Next round. We're in there, mates. Hold on, I need to make sure I press the right button. Next round. He may be new to the arena. Sacrifice running good for better graphics. Uh, I wouldn't even say the graphics are any better. They kind of suck too. Second round. It's an audience favorite. Like the original Fable didn't look that good, and then I saw the character models for Fable Anniversary, and they kind of look worse. Three, two, one, go! Oh, is that a rose? Aw, somebody threw me a red rose. Is this really the time for this fable? All right, all right, all right. Let, let's let's not pull this crap already. By the way, whoever said Hobbs, way to predict the future. Way to actually bring them into the game itself. Freaking clairvoyance and chat. Uh, let's see. We want this one. There we go. That was a good one. Okay, that's pretty great. You can actually launch them into traps. How perfect. Doesn't look like the traps do anything. Get out of here. I think while you're in the arena, people from the audience can throw money into the arena. That's like a tip. Yeah, see, there it is. Yoink. It's not much, but it's still nice. All right. Oh, somebody's got their car alarm going on outside. Like, directly outside my window. Hopefully that's not somebody breaking into cars. What, what the worst time. I need to beat the arena! Stop breaking into my car! Can you all hear that, by the way? Oh, there it goes. It's gone. Three, two, one, all right. Go. God, it's always the magic users. Get out of here. There we go. Now let's see if we can get them to run into traps. Okay, well the option was there, they just didn't run into the trap. Oh wait, there we go! One of them ran into the trap and died. Perfect. I don't think that counted as my kill though. Kinda sucks, which means I didn't get the experience for it, but that's okay. This is actually kinda perfect, because after this mission, we can totally upgrade and get the sword. Are you not entertained? That's another 500 gold. 600 gold learned so far. And there's another thousand up for grabs in the next round. Another thousand? I'm down for that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the team round. Two heroes, side by oh, side, yeah. fighting together for their very survival. Oh, they call me it's still loading in. in Last-minute change to the hero lineup. It's the sister of arena legend Thunder. 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 Whisper. So, the two of them together, can they defeat the Valverine? Yeah. We can defeat the Balverines. Alright, bring them on. Here we go. Here we go. Go, ghost friend! I actually had so much trouble with this when I was a young kid. It, the Balverines just gave me so much freaking trouble. And the later rounds in the game... Yeah, they messed me up, too. Hey, Whisper, can I please just get my money? There we go. I think we actually fight a white Balverine, too. 
So they've been keeping them here in captivity. Was I getting booed? Excuse me, my good man. I s I'm fighting Belverines. I'm fighting for my life. The clap meter is extremely high, so please, no booing. Boo on you. Damn, I was hoping I could actually, like, push him into the spikes, or the spin blade. I think I actually had a, a situation where Whisper was actually caught on a spike trap, because she was waiting for a Balverine to come down from jumping up in the air, and so she just stayed on the trap, and she just, just got got constantly. Who is Whisper? So... When we got sent to the Hero Guild... Oh, yep, there's a white one. Uh, when we got sent to the Hero Guild, uh, she was the first person who kind of became our pseudo-rival. So I guess you could call her our first friend. But she kind of hates us at the same time because we're so much better than her. So believe what you will, just call her, like, the Gary Oak of Fable. Except she doesn't say smell you later. I think she just says, damn, you beat me again! But, you know, it's logical. That's how it happened. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna have to remember, is, is one of the rounds just two trolls? No, you do not. No, you do not. This is my kill. You get out of here. Yes! Three, two, Wait, another one? one okay. Go. Is that two whites? Yep. Two white Valverines. I'm getting bodied. Please. Ow. Ow. Ha ha ha! You know, it's actually a really good idea that they put Whisper in this part of the story. Otherwise, uh, yeah, nobody would be beating your video game. The white Valverine actually knew I was running away to heal. What a smart wolf. This is actually going kind of smoothly. I mean, I know I'm getting bodied at certain points. This is actually going kind of well. Come on. Whisper's pulling her weight. A good time in the arena. And wait. So Chameleon died on part three. Is it? Hello again, car alarm. I missed you. It's only been five minutes since you showed up. Yeah, Chameleon died on part three, which means he probably didn't have a partner for the Balverine round. A nice round thousand gold reward! Wow! No, you definitely fight a troll in the arena, but, uh... another 2,000 on offer for the next round! I just can't remember if they have you fight one or two. Uh, do you wish to continue to the next round? Oh, absolutely. He was booing the werewolf thing. Oh, okay. How long have UDJ and I been friends? Since high school. These two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen! Give them a big hand! The next round is a Let's real see. favorite this year. Anyone yeah, we've almost been friends for... Recently, we'll oh, shoot, we've been friends for 15 it's years. It's the undead! Hey, ghosts! Three, two, and I have a weapon that's super effective against ghosts. One, go. Match made in heaven. Hero, your will oh, Guildmaster, if only you knew what, what will potions were. And that I'm not totally incompetent. I know you like to think that I am a complete scrub, but my god, will potions exist? Oh, they don't explode into the screams of the damned. They just kind of vanish. I think they were supposed to explode. That was kind of one of the things that scared me when I was younger, is when you kill an undead, you hear the scream of their soul. And it's just messed up. Oh, she took my experience. Alright, where's our first one? Okay. If you... If you were actually watching this, 
Like, let's say, oh, you you happen to, uh, you happen to, you know, get a ticket to the arena. You're gonna see people fight to the death, and you see a necromancer on the sidelines bringing the dead back to life for heroes to fight. Are you scared or are you entertained? Legitimate question. Because I think the moment zombies show up in the world, I am either going to cower in fear or do my best to live knowing full well that I will not. I am legitimately scared of the idea of zombies. So what do you think, Chad? Are you afraid of zombies? One. You say only Resident Evil zombies, but I'm going to be honest with you. If I see zombies running, I'm out. Like, I'll do my best to survive, but I'm out. It was uh, Dawn of the Dead that made me realize, oh shit, if zombies actually run, my fat ass ain't living. I am so fucking dead. Hope you guys don't mind if I get a little extra experience here. There we go. Oh yeah, every time you kill an undead, you get some good points. Like, that's straight up D&D. Wow, the guy in the crowd is just having a time. He's insulting all the zombies. They're zombies, dude. Oh, wow, another round. Okay. Do you hear this guy? Get up, you undead gits! Oh, I'm actually doing really well for my... Uh, combat multiplier. We got a fat 20 going on right now. Still got 20 going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people surviving are being dumb as shit. Yeah, have you, have you met the rest of the human race? Like, we can't even deal with a pandemic properly. You think we can deal with zombies? Although I will say one of the best defended areas would be trailer parks. And then when they make one mistake while trying to get a beer, all of a sudden, no more rednecks. Although if we did have a ragtag team like there was in Zombieland, if I was a part of those guys, like just being the survivor, you know, the smart one learning how to outsmart zombies, that might be a little okay. I hope that was worth 2,000 gold. I reckon it was. Oh, thanks. They've earned 3,600 gold. Hero, but will they stay for another round to net them another 3,000? Jesus Christ, dude. Unlock your car. Or fucking remove the battery. Jeez. I love that. This is the third time they set off their car alarm. I'm actually going to see if somebody is actually being robbed. One second. Did I tell you guys about the weird text I got last night? I posted it on Twitter. And some weird stuff has been happening around me lately. But probably one of the funniest things... Here, let me, let me pull up my own Twitter. Legit, this happened. And I, it's almost like I'm living in a horror movie. Like, people around me are having their cars tampered with. And then last night, I get a text saying, He's there. I'm just sitting at my desk, and I get the text message. I get a phone call first. And then I get a text message saying, He's there. All lowercase. And I, I take a look at it and I go, Huh. Okay. I, <laughs> I'm living in a horror movie, help! I had a really messed up idea. <laughs> this was obviously being sent to the wrong number. That happens a lot with me where people think they have the correct phone number and it's wrong. I 
I was about to respond. Like, late last night I was thinking about this. I was like, should I respond with get out of my head in all caps? That would have been a good comeback, but it's been far too long, so it's it's not even worth it. The competition's hotting up. We've already lost three heroes. Well, it's time to make our surviving combatants even more nervous. It's round five, and here they are. Spared from the headsman's block, let's have a big hand for the bandits of the Black Hand Gang. He really did say Three, it's getting hot up, hotter two, up, hotted up in here. Is that what he said? Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if I heard that correctly, it's getting hotter up. It's getting hotted up in here. Things are heating up, friend. All right, this is probably where I take a take an L, mainly because of the ranged people. And also because these bandits apparently have no fear. Just to be sure. You never know. Damn it! Uh... What? Oh, he still lives! Okay, there we go. Yep, there it goes. I knew it. <laughs> There goes the car alarm again. Oh, Jesus. Well, at least we know everyone's okay. It's just really funny that this has to happen now. Hopefully my microphone won't pick it up too much. I know it's obnoxious. Sorry if you guys can hear that, but... I don't even think the person's home. So maybe it's just a, a bad time. Oh my god, it stopped. I think that means they're actually there. Maybe they got an update on their phone or something like that, saying that, oh, hey, your car's been tampered with. Please deal. Or maybe the car ran out of batteries. That would be even better. Whisper just blew me up. How dare. What car alarm? Good cover. Good cover. That's what I like to hear. Chad, I'm glad you're on my side. When I say something happens, you just go, what do you mean? What? I've almost Three, this one. Two... One. Right, let's go ahead and get some heals. <laughs> the bandits are coming after me! Oh, <laughs> God. Anyway. There we go. That's a nice decapitation! How are these guys able to kill me? Good Lord! I'm glad Whisper's able to take care of him. I need to get some... What the hell hit me? <laughs> Whisper got hit. Sorry, I'm in a little bit of focus mode. I'm actually doing a lot more damage with the bow. With a Yeah, with my crossbow. I think it's mainly because they can deflect me using my sword, but they apparently can't deflect this. Wow, what a exploit. They keep going after me too, which is almost perfect for Whisper to steal a kill. Like right there. Oh, 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 nah, damn it. There we go. Oh, one more time, huh? Hey guys, can we not? Hold on, I just need to get get uh, good here. Uh, let's see. Whoa! He still managed to hit me. I don't believe it. This time stop ability is almost useless when it comes to fighting people who can block attacks. These guys have a lot more health than your average bandit. There we go. Still works just the same. Oh, they're wily ones. They can dodge with the best of them. He just punched me! Alright, alright.
Oh, finally. Whew. That was rough. That was pretty rough. A cool 3,000 more gold for that. They've banked 6,600 gold. And if that wasn't enough, another 4,000 is available for the next round. All right, time to rechat. Our intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, hogs, valvarines, and even undead. What's next? What could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty Earth Trolls, Ingrid and Bertha. Here we go. Here are the trolls. Three. This is where I always died as a kid. Go. God, I didn't know this was going to be a horror game. There was a jump scare. Oh, God. Yeah, this is why I died so many times. Because if you're attacking one, the other one can actually harm you. Oh, come on. How was that not enough? I'm really not liking the game taking away my ability to use my magic. But then again, it looks like I was trying to double summon the, the sword ghost. So that's totally my bad. Alrighty. Yeah, for, uh, for the person who said Whisper's dumb as shit, yeah, she just took that. She doesn't have all the experience fighting trolls like I do. Getting some cookies, what did you miss? Uh, just getting my ass kicked by bandits. I actually did better at the trolls than I did the bandits, which is extremely sad. Alright. Another round down. That was kind of a gimme. And another 4,000! Wow, a total of 10,600 gold! Enough for a small house! Do they want another 8,000 gold? Enough. An amount of a small house. Yeah, let's continue to the next round. We've got two rounds left. Things are getting very tough for our contestants. <laughs> we can all there goes the car alarm again. The strain. <laughs> but what stands between our noble heroes and their winnings? Is that a pile of rubble? No, it's the Rock Trolls, Stannis and Groin. <laughs> oh, God, Rock Trolls. All right, th this is going to be a massacre, I can already tell. Wow, that texture's not loaded in. All right, come here, you. Oh, bite me. Seriously, you're just going to toss things across the way? Fuck. Oh, yeah, this is going to be rough. Jesus, my Xbox One hates this 360 game. I didn't think it was possible to run this bad. Oh my god, please. What is timing? What is timing? Damn it. Alright, I think I got it. I think I got it. There we go. That was a good one. That was good. One. Two. Awesome. Awesome. We're still doing good. See, there we go. That was so much better than the first one we fought at the beginning of this stream. Like, holy cow. That was so much better. Oh, Get. I don't know if I have anything close to a salute, but if you have the, if you have any salute emotes, put them in chat right now because this, this is disgusting. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, oof, oof. Uh, you know what? Actually, if you have my Rowlet emote, just, just put it all in chat. Like, oh my god, she is getting obliterated. And the best part is, I can just sit here and watch. 
This, this, this hurts. Whisper, I'm sorry. Th this troll hates you, man. Mm. That's rough. It's rough, dude. Anyway, I think we should help her out a little bit. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm right here, big boy. You know, I didn't know Whisper could actually be caught in a loop to get bullied by the AI. Shows how much I know. Okay, that three rock gets me every time. Oh, I was so close. Wow, the, the crowd kind of hates this. I mean, I know Whisper was getting destroyed, but man... Yes! I understand patterns! Yes! Huzzah! Oh, wow! Another 8,000 gold! Another rose! 18,600 in the bag, and only one round to go. Is it worth dying for another 10,000? 10,000 more gold? Hell yeah! Hooray for violence! Here we go. Last round. Ladies and gentlemen, today you have seen the best of Albion's arena fighters. Put your hands together for our successful heroes. But now, round eight, the final battle. I give you Arachnox. I don't remember this at all. Please have your salutes ready. I'm about to get bodied. One. Oh! Ew! Not a fan of this! Ow. Uh, methinks that big thing in the- Ah! Ugh. Is that a good indicator on where to- where to shoot? I believe so. Okay, so big glowing spot, shoot it, kill it. Watch out for the charge. Oh, and the whip, and the whip. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I really need to get rid of this crossbow. The the charge up is way too slow. Okay, so the crowd hates us. That's that's neat. That's pretty neat. It tried though. It tried though. All right, I understand the pattern now. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's really not good. I did not want it to create more scorpions. That just seems wrong. Yeah. I also noticed they turned the traps off for this, which makes sense. Alright, where are you? Running across. Nope! Oh! Hit with the backswing. I just about dodged that. These camera angles fucking suck, dude. So the crowd is really hating this, which I find very funny. Even though we are doing pretty well against this thing, I am getting no applause, no more roses, no more bags of money. Just absolute hatred for this performance. At least we did better than, Chame than Chameleon. That's all I care about. Oop! More babies. More little ones. Uh, hopefully my hero can actually hurt them. Please get in front of my sword. Uh, you f 
fucking camera. Really? Okay, let's... And... I think that's game. That's game! Okay, okay, not bad. Not bad. That kind of hurt, but... Yeah, that's alright. Are you not entertained?! The arena bank is truly broken! That's Whew. another 10, Are there checkpoints in these? Gold. No. This is for a massive total of 28,600 gold! Yeah, 28 grand! We have two winners! Incredible! So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Fight to the death. Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! Stupid name. I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy of it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. Look at the crowd. Look One at that. final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this. I'm going to put on a good fight, but I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. <laughs> I'm here to put on a good show, and that's what we're going to do. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So, uh, chat, I'm sure you know what comes next. What do, what do you think? Do we actually do it? Because we have the option. You've improved since training. Aw, somebody loves me in the crowd. See that? Alright. Whoever's whistling in the crowd, seriously, man. I wonder if she can block this. We have a winner here tonight, folks! All he has to do is give her one final strike and wow. is his! But will he do it? Will he kill Whisper? Or will he throw his victory away? Don't do it, Tom boy. We agreed. Just walk out. We agreed. Let's stop fighting now. The people have spoken. We're leaving. I haven't got much Good on you guys. You spared Whisper. Now her brother won't be pissed off at me later. We can finally get away from that whistling. God! Shut up! I wish a rogue arrow would have hit the guy constantly whistling. But my dear lady, Holy it was fuck, that luck. loading! He's nothing but a... Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. But I forgot my manners. I am Lady Grey. The Mayor of Bowerstone. I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only li- Thunder, I am tired of your protests, tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. Oh! As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss.
This is not over. New blood spills just like any other. And yours will spill soon. I'm gonna fuck the mayor of Bowerstone so you can't, you bitch. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. Just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. That's our mom. And here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's, too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother, Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, you've earned the champion's seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Bowerston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. That cutscene was hilarious. I mean, I like the, you know, the part where they're looking over the bigger picture of the story. And that's why... God, the loading. I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, that's why uh, our hero fell to his knees is because he saw a statue of his mom, the, the biggest, badass hero, Scarlet Robe. I kind of like that. It's a good addition to the story. I don't remember that being in the Lost Chapters, but it very well may have been, which makes a lot of sense because now we're bringing your mother into the picture. Oh, at the beginning of the story, it says your mother and father perished? But I don't think your mother ever made it back home, so only your father perished. And this is where we're going to kind of hint as to where the story's going. It's like, oh, well, your mother may or may not be alive. Something, something, blah, 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 blah. But that is a huge payoff. That's a lot of experience. We got two trophies out of the deal. The Champion Seal and King Scorpion Sting. Totally worth it. Hey, you. Theresa wants you to meet her at the Grey House. Alright. I remember that cutscene was in the original. Okay. It's just been forever and a half. That lightning effect is actually breaking the game. I am in glitch territory. I need to escape. And actually, speaking of escape. I'm glad we got I've got a lot of experience now, can't believe and we actually. now have an option for where to go next. We're gonna go hunt some booty, specifically Lady Grey's booty. Also, there's just a, a few other places that we can go. That's the next plot point. I think we're going to go upgrade, go get the sword. So is this technically the end of the game? Not yet.
We still have quite a few story bits to go. And then we'll be at the end of the game. Fuck the mayor first. Nah, 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 nah. We'll save that, we'll save that for a fresh stream. Also, I think she has like three side quests before you can even begin to woo her. She does like black roses. She's also a massive bitch. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to hit that just to, you know, rub it in Thunder's face. Not only did we beat his sister in combat, we also took the girl he was simping for. God, it's good to be the king sometimes. Uh, break a siege in Knothole Glade and also find the traitor's lost brother and return him to safety. we got a couple more that we can take. Go ahead and take those. And now we are ready for the next time we come in. But, uh, yeah. We need to get this. Bam! Look at all that experience disappear. Totally worth it. Let's go get us a freaking sword, bro! Now, how do I do this without initiating a mission? Uh... Because not whole glade is where the mission is, but I don't want to start the mission. We'll go to Witchwood. And that way I can pull the sword from the stone and then immediately warp back to the guild. I like swords too. You like the poor girl? You mean the girl that had Rosie the bear? How much of the game is left? Uh, we've reached the halfway point, if I had to guess. We are very far. Oh shoot, we got Balverines all over the place! Excuse me, wolf boys, I don't have time. Although I could probably find time to heal myself. That seems like a good idea, just so I don't die. That's what I forgot to do, I forgot to... Oh, hell yeah! Hey, Balverines, take care of my bandit problem. Ow. Please? <laughs> Bob and Weave! Bob and Weave! Get me out of here! Can you take jobs? I know you can in the second game. I don't think there are any jobs. There are just gambling minigames. What is going on with the Shadows of the Trees? There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going wrong. Are you eventually going to get the bow from the temple? Yes. I plan on getting most, if not all, the legendary items. That's the plan. Because I like playing this game. It's a lot of fun, even with all the fucking jank that seems to be happening when going back a couple generations. Jesus. And the best part is, I've never played Fable Anniversary before on the 360. I have no idea if this is how it ran or not on the 360 itself. I'm using backwards compatibility. I have no idea. Blacksmithing was fun in the second game. Yes, it was. I do remember blacksmithing. That was a good mini game. And that'll also be another reason to go back to Fable 2 because I was... I went to a midnight release for Fable 2. I was there. I was so into Fable, it was kind of ridiculous. Okay. Are we ready? Actually, you know what? We need a hero's garb. We need to figure out what we need to wear. Like, what are we going to wear? We need to figure this out. Okay, chainmail helmet. I think that is the best way to go. I think we need to go for... Uh, we need to go for... Uh, the Apprentice Gloves? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, we can go for... Do, do you guys want to stick with the upper dress? That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we'll stick with the upper dress. Uh, for trousers... You know what? I think we go no trow. We go no trow. And then uh, we're going to go... Uh, let's, 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 go uh, let's go Bandit Boots. Sounds pretty good. And, yeah. I think we're ready to prove ourselves. Step aside, boys. It's time for me to get a brand new sword. As soon as you're done trying to walk around me. Aw, they're applauding me healing them. Alright, here we go. Everybody get your emotes ready. Give me your strength, chat. It is time to get the Harbinger. The one of the most 
powerful legendary weapons in the game. Can I? Fuck off! I I wanted to do it. <laughs> Plays the master sword jingle. That we might actually have to do that. Okay. Let's let's wait our turn. I was so ready. I was just you know getting the energy up, getting the hype. But no. Oh my god, this game is a mess. This game is a fucking mess. Please, just let, let me get the sword. Alright, strength time. Please? Did I glitch it? Oh, there we go, there we go. Yes, here we go! Yo! Look at that sword! Wow, you're as strong as a giant. Wait until the chief hears about this. Throw me all your emotes. Put them all in chat. We have the new sword. Look at it! Look how gorgeous it is! This is a fantastic sword. Let's take a look at how fantastic it actually is. The Harbinger has a sharpening and piercing augmentation. 198 damage. Nice. This long sword was forged by the twins Elda and Essa. After its creation, they used it to cut off each other's hands, ensuring the world would never see another weapon like it. We shall wield it. And I can wield it, because I'm strong. I'm a strong boy. I'm a big boy. Wonder if you could use it in the arena. If you had a lot of, uh, if you had enough experience, you could definitely take it into the arena. They don't actually, like, ban heroic or legendary weapons. Is this the best weapon in the game? No. It's just a legendary weapon. It's a cool little toy that you can use as early as now in the game. Cool. Well, we beat the arena. And we also got a nice new sword toy to play around with. I'd say we've done pretty good here. Let me go ahead and put myself in a, in a pretty neat outfit here. Well, we've already got lower robes. Let's go ahead and give me a give me a shirt here. Uh, yeah, we'll go light and dark again. I'm wearing the apprentice gloves. And yeah, we'll keep a hat off. I love how we have white hair now. I don't know where that came from. Oh, actually, I'm just noticing. So when you are on the side of good, you actually get some blue on your face. That's how you know you're going to the light side. You're on your way to a halo. It looks like our alignment. We've been a good boy. We've also been a... Uh, Hey, strong boy, we managed to pull the sword. Excellent. Things are looking up, yeah. Looking great. So how about next time on Fable, we'll go ahead and tackle some more missions. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll learn what happened to our mom. Your sister is waiting to meet you at the Grey House, near Barrow Fields. Oh yeah, we also need to bang the mayor of Bowerstone and then go talk to our sister. You no, know, we, we could do we could do one while trying to do the other. Did you see me go bald for like a microsecond? Am I crazy? Or did like the guildmaster phase into me? This this game is such a mess. <laughs>